Well, Medic Regional Blood Center wants to make sure you're having a happy and healthy summer. That's right. Their Save Our Summer campaign has kicked off and they have some great things to share with blood donors. Christy Altman joining us now to talk more about the <coughs> summer campaign. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Doing well. Is it, is it true that blood banks do run low during the summer season? Sure do. What we see is an increase in accidents, boating accidents, vehicle accidents. And then when those happen, we have an increased demand for blood. Yeah. And um, so we have the demand goes up and our supply kind of drops because people are on vacation and they're out of town and they forget they get out of their normal schedules like we were just talking about. Mm -hmm. And um, we don't see them as much. So we're hoping that with our summer campaign that they it reminds them to come in a little more often. All right, you have some good incentives, right? We have great incentives. So if anyone that donates more than twice this summer, so once or twice for whole blood, we have what's called a double red donation that counts as two. And we also have platelet do donations that count as two, um, will be entered to win a thousand dollar gift card for a cruise. Wow. Yeah. So if they come in and visit us, uh, they still can get their two times in if they come in right now and um, or they can do one of those double donations that gets them what they need or platelet donations and then we'll draw for that in early September. That's pretty cool. What other things do you have going on? So we've got a lot of things coming up next week on Wednesday, the 26th. We're actually going to give away zoo tickets all day. So tickets to Zoo Knoxville for anyone who donates that day. Okay. We're going to have Ambassador Animals at the Ayler Avenue Center from 12 to 3 that afternoon. And then on July 1st and 2nd, we do a promotion with Brewster's called Pint for a Pint. Mm -hmm. You come out and donate at one of the Brewster's locations and you get a coupon for a pint of ice cream. Or you can get the same coupon at one of our centers. Um, and then we have a Shark Week campaign coming up in really? mid-July. Mid yes, sir. What are you getting that week? You can get a special t-shirt and a ticket to Ripley's Aquarium. Oh, perfect. So wow. we're excited. Got We've got some things. Coming. Yeah, and we really are in a place right now where we need O positive blood. We have seen a really big increase in a need for that blood type the last probably six to eight weeks. And we've kept a steady supply, but we're seeing that dip a little bit. For, so for anyone that's an O positive donor, if they haven't been in a little while, we would love to see them come in, come to the center and get some goodies from us. How long does it take typically to donate blood? It's not terribly long at all. About 45 minutes if you do what's just called a whole blood donation. So that's just straight up. We, you come in, we do the process, the screening, you're in and out. If you do a double red, it takes a little bit longer, but we're getting twice the product, twice okay. the blood. Uh, platelets, depending on how much you can can spare that day. We can, I, when I do platelet donations, it's about two and a half hours, but we do a double donation each time. So my platelets are used, can go out within five days to someone who needs them. Okay. And we do what's called a double donation on those as well. So that's why it takes a little bit longer for that. But typically if someone just wants to do whole blood at 45 minutes to an hour. Perfect. All right. Good incentives. Thank yeah. you so much for coming Thank on. Thank you for we having us.